Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. As you guys can see, we're out on the hard water. We're sitting on about five inches of ice. The main lake is not safe yet, which is why I'm staying so close to shore, you guys will see. But um, I was actually out here yesterday and we got on a couple fish. I'm gonna try experiment spots a little bit more today. Um, I am still planning on catching a couple fish, obviously, but I do wanna try out a couple new areas, I guess you could say, and fish a little bit more shallow. Um, I do have trout in here that do stay pretty shallow, so I don't know, we'll see if we can catch a couple of those, that'd be pretty cool, but um, me and trout don't really mix, so I'm not promising anything, but uh, you, you never know, you never know. So I'm going to start off kind of shallow and probably work my way out to about 18 feet or so. <laughs> Let's dig inside the uh, ice fishing box here. This is literally all I carry. Um, actually, let me show you guys real quick. This is literally all I carry with me ice fishing plus a bucket of minnows if I have minnows with me. I do not today. Um, here I have all my like rip and wraps so you guys can see. This is a Freedom Tackle one. I got a Rapala one down there. I don't really use these guys a lot anymore um, just because I've been, you know, I have more confidence in smaller, smaller jig heads I guess you could say but that's all of that here I have all my vibratos uh, I have one more tied on I uh, use these mostly actually I haven't really used them too much I have I have had a couple for a couple of years I never really used them and then this year I kind of started using them so that's that uh, here I have all my spoons and my slab grabbers always need slab grabbers if you're fishing for perch here I have all my jig heads and meigs here people use these for whitefish a lot here I have more jig heads, and then here I have the stuff I mainly use, you know, little tiny tungsten jig heads. Here I have some like, teardrops, I actually caught my personal best um, trout on this lake with a teardrop. And then here I just have some hooks, stinger hook, etc. Rattle traps, which I don't use on this lake at all. And then here I have all my plastics, I have these maggots, plastic maggots I'm actually going to use today. And then I have these little crappy jigs that I usually use if I'm using a plastic, so I'm gonna give these little maggots a go, and then if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna go with my, uh, gotta go with my trusty little crappy jig, but these look pretty cool, pretty cool. They're kind of big, I can't lie, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll give it a go now. This is actually what I was using yesterday. You guys probably saw that video. A little white crappy jig I bit down. Put that in my pocket for later if this doesn't work out. I do like these little crappy jigs just because of the action of the tail. Really subtle, but, you know, always want a little bit of action on your jig. This won't really give me any action, but, I don't know, we'll see. It could be a good thing today. You never know. You never know. I'm going to bit down a little bit, actually. Wow, that plastic is stretchy. Kind of reminds me of like an elastic uh, plastic. And there we go. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's have a look over here. 16 feet of water. Okay, that's a lot deeper than I thought we were. I thought we were in like 10. I'm gonna have to drill another hole real quick here in a second. Yeah, I thought we were way shallow. Way shallow. Huh? Little tip for you guys: If you're going to be using braid as uh, <laughs> as uh, when you're fishing with ice fishing, sorry, get the uh, Power Pro ice fishing braid because the regular braid that I have on here, which I use for my bass fishing, I don't, I can't find my 500 size reel, so I'm using one of my bass fishing reels on here. It freezes <laughs> really badly and sticks to each other. So pick up some ice fishing braid or some ice fishing line. Yeah, I want to go way more shallow. <laughs> I want to go way, 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 way shallow. Let's go bottom lock. There you go. Six feet. Okay, that's kind of what I wanted. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. 
I miss them. There you go. Little guy. Woo! <laughs> Little perch fest over here. I'm gonna stay here though, just because the trout should not be too far behind. You know, they gotta eat something. The only thing I can think of of them eating in here are minnow and perch that size. So I'm gonna stay here, see if a uh, trout will cruise on by like uh, like it did yesterday. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. There you go. There you go. Heck yeah! There we go, guys. Biggest perch of the day so far. Beautiful. There she goes. I knew it was a bigger mark, I could tell. Had some red, had some yellow in it. Right on. Right on. Let's get a couple more. My gods are super duper frozen. <laughs> Everything is super duper cold. <laughs> See, I don't mind fishing out in the open, like without the hut, when it's nice out, you know, there's some sun. It's not this cold, but when it gets frisky like this, I like to be inside a hut. Because <laughs> goddamn, can you freeze. <laughs> yeah, it took a little bit for that fish to bite. As soon as I stopped twitching it, it bit though. So I think that sticking might be the deal for today. We'll, we'll, we'll see though. But uh, that's not a bad perch for this for this spot. This is not like my ideal perch spot. I prefer to fish out on the main lake. But uh, it's not definitely not safe yet. Kind of going to scratch my whole idea or my whole plan of uh, going shallow today. And uh, <laughs> just uh, stay out in this you know, 10 to 16 foot range, I think. Yep. This fish has some power behind it. <laughs> right on. That is the biggest perch of the day. Well, guys, biggest perch of the day right here. Not a jumbo, but man, did he eat that. Look at that. You can't even see the Jake in his mouth. <laughs> Absolutely gone. Get there, bud. Yep, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. That's oh, <laughs> right on, right on. <laughs> yeah, right on, guys. Right on. Nice long fish, not too big, not too not too fat, I should say. She goes right on. I actually thought it was gonna be a trout the way it was coming up, but biggest perch of the day for me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick perch session. Um, we didn't get anything big other than that last one. Um, my whole plan to kind of stay shallow didn't really happen. I don't really have that much patience. Um, I'm gonna have to give it a shot at least one day coming next couple of days. I know trout, I know you can catch trout shallow. I just rather catch the perch and then the occasional trout than to just target the trout. I'm just too impatient. That's what it is. But I mean, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna leave links to everything I was using down below in the description. Um, if you guys have safe ice, have fun out there. Again, always make sure that uh, the ice is safe. You, you know, it could look okay, but you never know. So always double check. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.